What's up, y'all? And welcome to another episode of the Laura Cross podcast, where I just mostly interview my friends in the porn industry or adult industry. Sometimes they're fetish models. Yes. <laughs> An industry of content creation. Yeah. Theoring on the adult side. Exactly. I feel like even the fetish is adult. You yeah. know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Like, you still have to agree that you're 18 or 21. Exactly. Even for like foot fetish or whatever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> whatever that is. Um, so, anyway, Siren was here to visit um, for what? Five days? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Five Something days. Like and we got into, well, first off, she came out here to help me. Yeah, we weren't supposed to shoot. Mm. I told this girl, hey, I'm coming out to help. Coming out to help you get settled, do what I do, <laughs> in terms of product, like being yeah. productive in a home. That's like one of my strong suits. And she goes, so, hey, you want to do a photo shoot? I was like, sure. Oh, and I got some customs. I was like, okay. Yeah, and we got like five customs. Yeah. <laughs> I ended up getting one. She worked magic to make it happen. Oh, yeah. We were were still very productive all the way around. And there was momentum made to get house projects done. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I want to talk about the, uh, your custom. Oh, my custom. custom Got it. We're going customs first. All right. All right. All right. right. So, So, okay. Yeah. (laughs) We, we... We both veer on the side of being dominant in general. She tends to be submissive based on situations with BDSM stuff. I don't really fall into that category. So, I don't know how many people are into eating their own... Cum. Cum. (laughs) I'm always conscientious. You know, you never know. You can post this on YouTube. I try to find creative verbiage at times. Right. You never I guess know. I probably should have... Probably should think about that. You know, there will be, tried to there'll do be that. quick bleep, <laughs> things later on when this when this goes crazy. Beep. Beep. <laughs> um, so anyway, so this guy had to be walked in on a leash collar. I would have preferred a mask, but my husband is not so into the task being given. Yeah. He did it once before and it had to be two loads. He was not very about that so when I got another <laughs> custom from this person I decided to try and be creative yeah. Laura was up for a challenge and we put some stuff out there to the world and a lot of people just want to talk to us yeah her specifically but saying yes yeah, so I'm not I'm down I want to do it Didn't yeah there were, the total was about 30 people who responded and guess how many of them worked out yeah well yeah, I guess Maybe, not. Maybe, because the other ones, it would have been, you know, there yeah. weren't... There I think w- there were two people who would have. Potentially. But it would have been a, a day after we wanted to shoot it. Yeah, because we were we were very active. I didn't even get to lift or do anything with her on the strip. Not that I'm mad about it, but really, like, <laughs> my energy level is not matched to hers with the types of things that she likes to do based on what I have energy to give. I've already been traveling, yeah. doing lots of stuff. I was out of the country for a week over New Year's, came back for two days, and then came out here. So I was not already running on full. But so this guy who ended up doing the photo shoot that she had set up prior Great to. Great photographer. Awesome photographer. Yeah. I guess was, if you want to follow him on FetLife, because let's give him a shout out. Yes. Um, his FetLife is Jesus, Jesus K-R-I-S-T. K-R-I-S-T. Christ. So, yeah. So Jesus you can follow him. Christ. We like him. We're very appreciative. Yes. So appreciative. Oh yeah. my goodness. But she, we, we, we very much tag team with a lot of our conversations that we have with other people. Sometimes I overstep, sometimes she oversteps, <laughs> but we, we always figure out something in between all of that. So she asked, you know, Hey, she has this custom. Mm-hmm. He said, sure, I wanted to tell him, be careful when you tell us and give us approval to do that, but, you know, he agreed, so bam, done. <laughs> so we made it happen, and we got a little, some other fun content out of it, because, oh, yeah. cause, I mean, when you have something like that, and you have an agreeable person, and we're both dominant people, well, watch out. <laughs> so, so that happened, and that was great. Yeah, definitely, and he's a great photographer. The pictures are awesome. I haven't looked in too much depth at them because I need to go and harass him for to send me them. Right, right. But I will. 
Yeah, I think he's only edited like five, but they were yeah, really good. But they were great. Yeah. And that was like quick turnaround. Mm-hmm. Very nice. So our other shenanigans <laughs> that happened. Well, first off, oh. Leo got to have a threesome with us, too. Oh, yeah. But that's not we new. We took care of him. That's not new news, though. No. We've done these, those things before. But, I mean, I'm a loving wife. I made sure that we got at least one threesome for Leo. Yeah. Yeah. Got it in there. And, but the surprise was um, something that Siren found. <laughs> well, my husband found for me that <laughs> anybody who has followed me or seen me will understand that I tend to go for... Just for just a second, I'm going to take big, off my jacket. Big black ox. <laughs> BBC. We'll, we'll, we'll make sure there's quick, quick things that can be done. I almost kind um, of like... I almost like to ask everybody that like we film with I'm like hey are you cool with me sub objectifying you and categorizing you like that or do you want to just be a person who's well endowed he, he, he was cool with it yeah, I know he, he kept saying it me. I just always wonder you know I'm like no, no, do you I like know. this or not I tend to like yeah I know I usually have conversations yeah. but I feel like if you've seen my stuff at all you kind of understand yeah. what you're getting yourself into and will tell me if there's an issue otherwise. Right. So, my husband's been sending me all of these, you know, prospective people. And I just happened to, while we were getting errands done yesterday, text this one. He happened to be in the vicinity. And I convinced him to just drop <laughs> what he was doing and come see us. Yep. So, he, he drove, went out of his way. Um... And and made it happen. Yeah. Which for somebody who's a relatively newer performer, getting thrown in the ring with us two, us two who are high <laughs> energy, you know, know what we want, are going to be very direct about everything. It was it was very fun. But we got to share. Yeah. We got to share BBC together. Yeah. yeah first time doing that for yes. sure. Yes. But he was super nice. Um, Great experience. Yeah, he was very chill. He kept saying how much fun he was having and talking about um, how some of his other past shoots, like, he didn't quite have as much of, like, a connection. Or, yeah, which is one of my um, big things. Yeah. I'm big on connection. I don't do very well with having to just show up and shoot and be done. I don't really like that. Yeah. Yeah, and we went out to um, we'll eat after dinner. Lunch. Yeah. Hung out. There was a round one and a round two, <laughs> and a little bit of a intermin. What is it? What's the word I'm looking for? Intermission round. Yeah. That yeah. was these two. Well, these two. <laughs> you and him uh, having a little bit of a roll. Oh yeah, yeah. We did oh yeah. We did a little jujitsu. Yeah. So stay stay fun. tuned for seeing her rolling with him and seeing who wins. Because <laughs> y'all know her endurance. I think at this point. Yeah. But. Yeah. He wants to come back down and do like a long um, sex fight. So that's going to be fun. I, I'm actually interested. I don't know who's going to win because he's a bodybuilder. He's definitely stronger and he's a blue belt. Um, so, I mean, he's real good. I'm, I'm hoping I can wear him out like, and then just, you know, beat him. But <laughs> probably when I win, I'm just going to use his cock anyway. So. Yeah, one way or another. Either way. <laughs> either way probably it's going to get sorted. It'll be similar, fun. but there'll be a lot of Amazon position if I win. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot there to work with. Yeah, it's yeah. It's not like a short little... It's like there's a lot. Oh, yeah. It was very big. It was very big. I was very happy. <laughs> I was so happy. I had to have a lozenge this morning, and I was hoping last night I wasn't sick, but then I just forgot that it was just like oh, all the down from in my throat. That. That's what it's from. Yeah. I'm very familiar with it, but when I go long stints in between and having those really long, big ones, I'm like, oh, yeah, it's like training for a marathon. I did a lot of rim fluffing. Yeah. <laughs> We both we both lean towards our specialties. Yeah, exactly. But you did pretty good. Oh, good, thanks. I was pretty impressed. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. We we both had a really good time. But yeah, so this is these are the types of things that when Laura and I get together, yeah, and the opportunity arises, and now that she's jumped into that pool because this was not her first time. This is my second. Ah! My first time was with Will Tile. I was in Vegas. I was a little mad. 
I guess my second time was with Will Tile in Vegas. But it's like the same person, <laughs> so to me it doesn't count. Oh, okay. Like it's all Yeah. If it's all wrapped in the same experience, kind of like same trip, I don't have right. them as multiple times. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. I don't yeah. yeah, I don't know the numerical system for these things. Yeah, it was like when I was counting tattoos the other day. I was like, <laughs> does one whole piece, even if it's like multiples, count as one tattoo or is right. it two? Because I was trying to figure out if my new one, which I got another tattoo. If you guys follow me or have followed, uh, oh, by the way, I chopped my hair. Oh. This is not my normal. Right. It's been 10 years since I've had shorter hair. So this, this is very, very different for me. But now her and I are similar hair complimentary length. opposites. Yeah. I'm the chill. She's the high drive. She's the blonde. I'm the brunette. <laughs> Not tatted, super tatted. Oh, yeah. True, true. Yeah. Yep. You lean more towards pussy. I lean more towards dick. Yep. That's also true. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like I said, complimentary opposites. Yeah. I think, I think it works out pretty well. But oh, 100%. Yeah. I mean, life's been pretty good. But you, you, had, you had some questions, though, about, uh, like, yeah. what I do. Yes. I how it's, how it's... sure do. So, I wanted to dig more into BBC because we are with the BBC queen right now and for those of y'all that don't know BBC stands for big black cock I know that one um, <laughs> and that's about it <laughs> yeah yeah because so, we were we were talking about how how these things get categorized and how she gets to tag stuff yeah. And I was poking I fun at her a little bit earlier because she had, it was very cold this morning. Oh, And sure. so you can kind of see a little bit. There's yeah, like snowflakes. Snowflake. And I had she a matching. Is, she is not on. a snowflake, by the way, but she is definitely considered a snow bunny now. Yeah. Yeah. Which at first she was like, I've heard that term, but like, what else what is there? Yeah. Yeah. Snow bunny is a, is a white girl who likes to take big black dicks. <laughs> Yeah, um, we were just talking about the guy who gets customs from me pretty frequently. Yes. He was very excited to hear. He loves her rimming stuff. Loves it. Because he loves getting rimmed. Uh, um, yeah. yeah. Loves, he would have been, if if the custom <laughs> guy would have been fine with, well, maybe not, but this guy also loves cum eating. Oh, yeah. So interesting. Yeah. Um, so anyways, uh, so snow bunny is a term. Queen of Spades is a term. Yeah, I hadn't heard of that one. Which sometimes has interesting connotations, but again, this is the fetish world. I believe, personally, that if you are choosing to partake in something with every all the parties willingly participating, it's all about the mental stimulation. It has nothing to do about how we feel about the other person as far as like any other weighted stuff behind it. So, Queen of Spades, Spades um, Size Queen. Size queen is definitely a big one. Which so I explain the queen of spades. Queen of spades. I mean, like I said, it's it's something that has a connotation around white women who go for black men to be like, whether it's be bred by them or just like that's their preference. Because if there's anybody who goes and follows cuckolding and then the subsection, you know, BBCs, right? You'll see women. Sometimes men, but we won't go off into that, <laughs> into those weeds right now. Um, have a spade tattoo or a spade pendant on a necklace or a spade anklet, which anklets are usually, I don't know if you know, mm -mm. like a sign of people who are swingers or oh, a hot wife. Good to know. So I know the upside down anklets. pineapple means swinger. That's the only one I know. I don't know about that one. Yeah, I got you there. Okay. Upside down pineapple means swinger so like if swingers are at a grocery store and they're open to meeting somebody they'll have a fucking pineapple in their cart and it's going to be upside down and they can just be waving at you or saying hello and if it's another swinger swinger couple unicorn who likes swingers they'll know what it means also they can have jewelry um decorations in their house stuff like that Interesting. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm not much of a swinger, so I don't try <laughs> and figure out that culture. But yeah, anklets are definitely a very good sign of hot wives. And if you see the little spade, okay, definitely an indication that that's a black hawk preference for sure. Good to know. So, 
like I said, there's connotations that I've been kind of attacked for uh. when I've had them in profiles when, you know, some stuff shifted a few years ago. Um, because it can be a racist type oh, indication okay. around that. But Got it. You know, there are fetish things that you just end up having to understand that yeah. people are going to be mad about stuff and you know, we can't make everybody happy. Fair. We can only really control our own happiness. So that's what I do. Yeah, as far as like, um, if a person's black and has a big dick or doesn't, I just like to like the person. I just want to get along with them and have fun with them. But, um, yeah, so I don't really, I don't really care either way. And I'm cool with medium size, you know, quasi large. This one was really big and I was really proud of myself and it didn't even hurt. I don't know why though. It's weird. Maybe it's like a psychological thing. Because normally, like, totally does. Well, okay. So, I'm going to chime in for you Please. on this. Because I don't know if you would ever really admit this. I don't watch my own porn. I don't watch her porn. Just heads up. <laughs> um, I feel like when you're sharing in an experience, that is an added factor. Yeah. We both super like each other. So, that helps. Two, this bitch is so competitive. <laughs> That's true. I'm like, and I think that there was a level of, I'm like, of, she's like, taking all of it? Yeah. I got this. Like, because she's not a size preference type person, no. but it's a, like, I think that she saw it and was like, I could do that too. Yeah, I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> Even though, like, I am not a competitive person at right. all. Um, so, I think that that's really where that yeah. kind of came from. Oh, definitely. And I think this is also, you know goes to show that just because they're really large doesn't mean that they're all gonna hurt. Sometimes they can. Yeah. He wasn't trying to, like, pile drive us. He wasn't trying to do anything that was, like, outrageous. Like, put our head, feet behind our head and, like, <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, there are some positions that they can go too deep. But like, just... when you were on top of me, somehow my back just got into a position oh. that it was, like, not wanting to go any farther. That I was like, oh, God, this is, this is rough. <laughs> This is real rough, but I feel like had you been in the position I was in, you would have experienced the same thing. I bet. So, so um, it was okay. That's funny. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, anyways, it's super fun. Um, we got to explore just, a, we found a cool coffee shop in uh, Chattanooga too. Yeah. Yeah, we really like it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. They're all adorable with pour overs and... Fancy things and really nice baristas. Yes. <laughs> and that had an award. Oh, one yeah. Of them, one of them had a, a shiny he, goat award. Shiny goat trophy. Yeah, shiny goat trophy. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I think we packed in quite a bit. Way more than we were probably both anticipating. Yeah. We got lights installed. Mm, a, downstairs, yeah. Yeah, so there's light down there. We did not get the garage. It's not that she it was her first priority, mm. but when we went to go find them, it makes me sad that home improvement stores just do not have the staff like they once did. Like, does anybody uh, remember right. when you could go into a Lowe's or a Home Depot and, like, anybody who was working there had experience in being handy? Right. Yeah, not the same anymore. No. Still nice people. But just not as helpful. So we were trying, we found these lights. Her and I both were pretty good at spotting stuff. Yeah. We could not find this light that we found. Couldn't find it anywhere in there. But it at least got you thinking. Oh, yeah. What could be done. So we did that. We put together some stuff in the shower. Yeah. We got a light put together. When I say we, I mean I. Yeah, she did all the things. <laughs> she was busy doing stuff. I worked with Leo <laughs> getting stuff done. It was it was great. It was an yeah. all-around great trip. The thing for me is, like, contribution all the way around. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. like, if I bring people into my house, which I primarily do, Yeah. I want it to be, yes, make yourself at home, which means contribute. Assist. Yeah. How many times did I empty the dishwasher while I was there? Bunch. Twice. <laughs> I know twice, but... Yeah, we only filled it up twice, though, I think. Yeah, no, for yeah. sure. But that's the thing, though. It's like, I don't go somewhere and make it worse than when I left. Right. I contribute to making things... Oh, yeah. ...the same or better. 
But that was my purpose Amen. in coming here in general. Yeah. Was to help assist. Help you get settled. This girl travels nonstop. Yeah. So I wanted her to, you know. Have a that's home. What I, yeah, that's what I do. I like Actually have a home. feel like they have their stable place. If I can help with that. I've been helping another friend curate art. Not all alone. I have a another person who's helping. But I have all the yeah. final say. So, um. Yes. What do you think our next hangout is going to be like when I come down to Albuquerque? Well, it, we <laughs> might end up going to Denver. There is an Andy Savage <laughs> that I want to see. Shout out. Shout out. <laughs> Andy. <laughs> I got a challenge for you. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. You've said nothing but awesome yeah. things about him. He's amazing. Um. So, yeah, we'll definitely do that. We'll do all He's our like normal. an MMA fighter, dude, isn't he? Oh, yeah. Well, I I think Be I might ready. have to fight him and then, like, probably get my ass whooped. And oh, then get definitely. My... He has, like, real endurance. Yeah. Like, no, like, I... That'd be fun, though. I can't hurt. Like, he's not even, like, yeah. a big, big dude, but holy moly. The end of that trip when I saw him, I was sore, 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 sore. <laughs> yeah, it'd be fun um, to just fight him, to just do it. Yeah. I don't so. care if I lose... I'm sure he's way better, but it'd be fun. <laughs> we only learn from losing. That's right. <laughs> That's what we do. So that will that will definitely be on the agenda. Our normal, you know, fun stuff that we do. Definitely stuff with hubby. Yeah. More domination stuff. Cause yeah. He, I love the fact that my husband will offer all those things because he's a great switch. He's an awesome switch, and he does both roles so well. Like. Like he's, you know, he's real in both of the roles, mm-hmm. which is cool. Yeah, it's not an act on either side. Yeah, and I love that. I like doing both. Yeah, and so. it's cool because he's um, has like a muscular physique, which is nice. Yeah, and you don't find a ton of guys who are super muscular who are down to like be both. Yeah, to be both. I might be finding more though. So. Yeah, that'd be great. You'll see. You'll see. Yeah. Got to work on it. Yeah, and, you know. Just just be consistent in communication with us. Have I really like Steve. muscular guys. I just want to be very, very straightforward and clear. She likes fit dudes. Yeah. If you fit. are trying to shoot with me and you be are fit. a dude. Be fit. You need to be fit. Yes. You don't have to have a monster. No. Those are for me. No, no, no. Exactly. You got to be fit. Yeah. Yeah. You can be fit with an average sized equipment and it, it would like I just automatically already have She's a lot more attracted yeah and I have a lot in common with um people t- who yeah who take their fitness really seriously um like they'll get like my eating habits and my you know routine with like the running every day and all that as opposed to feeling like while well, I'm hanging out like I have to push it like they could you know do what they need to do. Do what they need to do, yeah. 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 I get my fitness in from my sex, so. I bet. I bet. She found out last night. She's like, these videos are so long. I'm like, yeah, I know. This is what I deal with. Like, 45 hour hour long sessions. That's a lot. They're being 20 minute little, like, let's do a little bit here. Let's do it. No, it's like full blown. It was over 45 minutes. Yeah. So, that's the I'm fit, but in a different way. (laughs) Yeah, the first was like 45 minutes. I feel like the second was like an hour. And yeah. An hour and a half, maybe? Yeah. So. Yeah. A lot of footage. Just, just a little bit different. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't need to lift while I was here. I'm like editing all of it, <laughs> and these are 4K files. And I'm just like, whoa, let me clean my computer real quick. <laughs> then we'll, then God, we'll do this. I, I like large things. <laughs> <laughs> I like large files. <laughs> <laughs> like lots of data. <laughs> like <laughs> Oh my god. Too much. Yeah. But yeah, so we'll have some fun stuff planned for you guys. We're we're finalizing our dates in April. Yeah. So stay tuned. We'll have some more stuff. We might have a three interview people. I yeah. Can, I can drill you too. <laughs> That'll be you cool. post fight interview. Yeah, that would be fun. So if you guys have questions or moves that maybe you'd like them to try on one another, who can who can get the submission and such hold? You know, thoughts, 
creation. Yeah. I would stuff. be open to that. All right. All right. Well, thank you all so much. Mm. And um, tell everyone where they can follow you. So the easiest place for links, sirenv.com, C-I-R-E-N-V dot com has my main things. You can find me on Twitter, sirenv underscore two, Instagram, same handle, Sex Panther is a great way to get a hold of me. <laughs> very, very quick. But many vids, only fans. Those are great places to find all my clips, all my fun stuff. And yeah, go follow. Check me out. Do it. Have fun with me. Yes. <laughs> I haven't flexed the entire time. You're proud of me. <laughs> Bye, Bye. guys. Bye. <laughs>